Hello, I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby, and this morning we're at number one Borthwen Cottages in Dufferin Ardidwy. Before I show you around, I'd just like to thank all of you who have subscribed to our YouTube channel and have been watching the videos. And especially thank you to all the people that have come into our office or phoned us up or sent us emails saying how much they've enjoyed these videos and how useful they've been to you. So thanks very much for the compliments. really keeps us going to work harder to do better stuff in the future. If you know anybody who's selling a house and you think a video like this would be helpful to them, please do recommend them to us. Now it's the 1st of November and if the weather keeps on like this through the winter it's going to be absolutely terrific. So we're really lucky that the sun's shining today and I think I've got a really special property to show you. If you're looking for somewhere with character, not remote but close to the village in a peaceful situation with gardens and parking then this is probably going to be worth watching for you. It's almost like a cross between Pogles Wood and country living. So carry on watching and Ruby and I will show you over. Before we actually go round one Borthwain Cottages, I just want to set the scene for the location here. About 50 yards up the road there, about 50 yards up the road there as well. That's the main high street in uh, Dufferin, I did we? And you've got a really good shop and butchers just uh, up there, about 50 yards away. On the other side of the road, there's a petrol station. If you carry on going in that direction for a few hundred yards, you've got the village pub and things. But uh, the actual uh, cottage is just down here, about 25 yards. So that's the back of Borthwain Cottages there. And number one is the one on the right. You'll see on this sign here, it says Dim Meneva Etrife, no access to the beach. Well, there's no vehicular access to the beach, but actually it's a lovely 20 minute walk across the fields using the footpaths through the woods, which can take you down to Benar Beach. You can walk along the beach, go around the big circle in about an hour or so, and it's a beautiful walk. But we'll, uh, you'll have to come here to explore that more. Let's go inside and I'll show you around. So here's the rear of the cottage. You can see that I've parked my pickup truck down the back here. The driveway leads to a sectional garage at the rear. And there's actually space for about three vehicles um, nose to tail that can be parked off the road along there. Now there's not much traffic comes along this road, but there is something coming right now. Now, we avoided getting run over there. One interesting thing is this big extension was built on the back of the cottage, probably back in the 50s or something like that. And this actually used to be a cafe. It's um, on the back of the kitchen and it's now used as a sort of living area. But this door's all being sealed off and everything now. We'll carry on going round to the front so that we can go around the property in a logical order. This is the front of one Borthwen Cottages. You can see it really catches the sunshine nicely. It's uh, 20 to 12 now, so it's a kind of southerly sort of aspect. Um, this bit of ground in front is owned by the neighbouring property, which is number two Borthwen Cottages. But uh, number one Borthwen Cottage has got right of access over to the front door here, but you can't park here or anything. And then also, big bonus here, you've got a main front garden just through this gate in addition to the little enclosed wall garden here. So let's go through to this gate, I'll show you this lovely cottage garden here. So peaceful down here this morning, a few crows and things in the background. Come on Rube, let's go and have a look in the garden. So as you go through the garden gate, the garden's right in front of you, it's mainly lawned, cottage style sort of peripheral shrub borders enclosed by some lovely dry stone walls. It's really safe in here if you want to leave children or animals in here, it's all enclosed. The other nice thing is a lovely uh, summer house over there and over on this side here got another shed and a log store. Now as you might have guessed I've been absolutely enchanted by this place, I love it. The current owners lived here for about 18 years but in in their time of living here, they've done some really beautiful things to this home. One of the most notable things, apart from general improvements, is a lovely joinery that's around the property. Some really traditional style replacement windows, nice interior doors and things like that. 
One thing to point out is that a lot of people are going to be put off by the fact that there's no central heating system here. That if you do want to put central heating in, I doubt that the cost of it is going to be too prohibitive really. Let's go inside Rube. Now before we go in here, I don't want you to forget that there's still a back garden to show you and I've got a little surprise up my sleeve for you in there as well. So let's go in and do the ground floor. First of all, on my right hand side here, we've got a living room which could equally be the fourth bedroom. It's absolutely gorgeous in here. Here's an example of uh, some of the interior doors with the lovely metal door furniture. And look at these really good forge type hinges on here as well. One of the great things about the ground floor of this cottage is the lovely slate tiling on them. Now not only is it practical but it looks really authentic as well. Another lovely thing are these sash windows here and also the shutters work and they really help to keep you warm in the winter. But the other lovely thing, apart from the flooring in this room, which I know people are gonna go crazy over, is this massive ingle nook fireplace with a wood burner in it. And it's taken Ruby about 30 seconds to realize the comfort that she can experience over there by that fire. And part of the reason that you could use this as a fourth bedroom is because downstairs, there's also two other reception rooms and the kitchen dining area. So just across the hallway, if you come in through the entrance door and turn right, this is the other reception room here. This is the one that the current owner calls the snug. Again, it's got a lovely heavily beamed ceiling, nice wall lighting. And again, this slate tile flooring continues right through from the other reception room through the hallway into here as well. The fireplace in here is sealed off but it's still a nice stone feature with a lovely beam across the top of it. And once again, sash windows with shutters in working order. So once we're through the snug here, this doorway, which isn't too low really, leads you through to an inner lobby. There's three steps that lead up to the utility. That's the staircase on my right here, but let's go up the steps. On my left is a bathroom and a separate downstairs toilet. This bathroom is fairly utilitarian with a plain white traditional suite, but it's got a metal bath and it's great to see this Shanks white hand basin and the porcelain inserts still in the top of the taps. There's also the all important electric shower over the bath. So that's the bathroom behind me, that's the snug down here and I'm actually in the utility room here. There's pavement tile flooring and a nice Belfast sink with a solid wood worktop and a nice view out to the back garden here as well. The door on my left goes through to the kitchen dining room. Once again this is a lovely room, it's got the uh, quarry tile flooring here, nice window looking out over the garden and importantly there's a rear entrance door as well. You can see it's getting plenty of sunlight in here. There's also a painted stone wall that adds character, but these are also two nice doors that open up to another living area. Probably Ruby wants to come through here. All right, Ruby, oh, she's by another fire. If you remember going back to the beginning of this video and I said there's a cafe here, that's where that exterior door is on the outside that's been sealed up. And this is the room that used to be the cafe. You can see it's still got a table in here, so there's space to eat if you want to use it as a dining area. It's got the quarry tile floors that extend through from the kitchen as well. But next, we need to be going and having a look upstairs. As we come up here, all the bedrooms have got boarded floors. There's some nice joinery up here as well, over stairs covered, lovely stained glass window over here. And the doorways are a bit lower up here, about six foot or so. So if you're really tall, you need to be minding your head. But all these ceilings are vaulted. They're nice and high and they really add to the cottage effect here. Straight ahead of me is the main bedroom, which goes from the front to the back and has got a dressing area as well. There's more of these sash windows up here with the working shutters. Also, this one's got sort of window seat here as well. 
This is the little dressing area at the back of the main bedroom with teddy and a wardrobe and a window with shutters out the back. Bedroom two is a double room and it's got this big plinth which is part of the chimney above the ingle nook, ingle nook downstairs. Finally, bedroom three is a super cute single room. So this is the back door of the cottage and I said there'd be a little surprise in the back garden. That's where we uh, came from earlier on and that's the parking space with the driveway that goes down here across the grass to the sectional garage. So this is a little surprise that I had lined up for you at the end here. You can see behind me there's these sheds. Now the current owner had chickens here before. She had one chicken that lived to be eight years old. Unfortunately that one's passed away now but a local person had a lot of ducks to rehome. So she then <laughs> took on these three ducks about a year and a half ago. And if we sell this cottage and the new owner doesn't want them, they're gonna be homeless. So we're hoping that the new owner is gonna be able to look after the ducks. Otherwise, we're gonna to have to be on the lookout for a new home for the ducks too. The ducks can roam around the garden and there's this small pond here that they like to have a, a bathe in as well. By the side of the garage there's this uh, paved area which serves as a wood chopping area, solid fuel store and also a place for the ducks to go sometimes. You can see it's just to the left of the garage here. So that's the end of our quick tour around one Borthwen cottages in Dufferin, our did we? Oh dear, it's uh, one o'clock now, so it's time for Ruby and I to head back to our office and leave the comfort of the fireside, unfortunately. But if this video has been useful to you, I'd really appreciate it if you could give Sanderson Estate Agents a, Google, a review on Google or a review on Facebook um, so that we could encourage more people to use videos as a way of presenting their property when they come to sell. As a little add-on here, I've put a link at the end of this video so you can subscribe to our channel. I've also put another link with a video that I've made about Dufferin I did with the village. So you can have a look around in a couple of minutes with that short video as well. If you'd like to meet me and Ruby up here and have a look over the property, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a call on the usual number, which is 01341 281 599, and we'll arrange an appointment. Please bear in mind, we can probably only do about two lots of viewings a week because of the owner's circumstances. So they'll probably be on Saturday afternoons or maybe on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, something like that. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you up here. Bye-bye for now.